Hi everyone, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I would like to talk about how Hotline Miami 2, the wrong number, has been banned in Australia, or it hasn't really been banned, it's just been refused classification, so it's not even getting an R rating. So basically, the classification board is basically saying, even though you're 18, you can drive, you can buy a gun, you can do whatever you want, you just can't play this game, because we think it is just not appropriate, even though you're 18, but... The worst bit is they've done this before, so they've done it to games like uh, Saints Row 4 and also Left 4 Dead 2 in the past, and basically what they force the de developers to do to release it in Australia is to lower the violence. As you can see, the gameplay in the background is Hotline Miami 1. It's nothing like too... it's definitely a violent game, it's definitely a violent game, but... it's nothing out of the ordinary in terms of gameplay, in terms of like groundbreaking violence. It's definitely very violent, but I've seen many other older games that are basically just as violent as this one, and I'm really just surprised that this crap happens with the classifications of games in Australia, and it really shouldn't be happening. So that's why I've made a petition. It's under my name, Baldrick Sodoff. So you can basically sign that, and it is basically telling the classification board to release this game in Australia with a R18 plus rating, because that's what it should be rated. There's definitely a lot of movies that are way more explicit than this, uh, just in every single way, and they're rated R. I'm not sure how Hotline Miami 2 is not even giving a, given a rating, so this is just ridiculous. It's We've seen it a lot in the past, especially with Australia. Even if you're not from Australia, uh, it would really help out if you signed this petition. I know this sort of game isn't really what I upload to my channel, but I do enjoy playing it when I in the background, and when I'm not playing games like Battlefield 4 or Call of Duty, this is the sort of game I'd go to, because it's just uh, a good campaign game, it's just fun to play as a single player, so uh, yeah, basically just sign my petition, it will be linked in the description below, I'm hoping I get a few signers, I'm not expecting too many, but hopefully uh, that I Hopefully I do, and we can actually see some change with the really bad Australian classification system. And thanks for watching guys, remember to have a nice day.